so today I want to show you that we are going to groom Madison and Madison is the cutest sweetest senior dog that I groom she is so cute she warms my heart so much here let's take a look at her this is sweet little Madison right baby she is an old little lady but she is so sweet and we're gonna give her a little bit of a spa day we're gonna clean her up look how little she is she's a little thing I love this sweet little girl um, and I love to pamper her so we're gonna give her a nice she looks pretty short as it is um, I was here probably maybe like three months ago she doesn't grow too fast her head's getting a little crazy but um, I'm gonna give her a nice short summer cut just to maintain her um, yeah so let's get started So we had just dried her up. Her face is a little damp. Let's see if you can see. Um, just because she doesn't like it to be dried all the way. And she's just an old lady. So um, I just let it air dry. By the time that I do her body and I get to her face, it's already dry. She has pretty thin hair anyways. So um, if she dries very quick. Um, yeah, so this is her all dried. I bathed her. Now I dry her and then I'll do her haircut. I think it is best, it's 100% best if you bathe the dog before you give it a haircut. It just makes the haircut look so much better. Sometimes if you try and cut the dog and then bathe it and then dry it, you can notice that it's very choppy. Um, just because it's a dirty, you know, when you go to the hairdresser, they don't cut your hair dirty, they wash it and then they cut it. So. Um, that's what we do for the dogs. Also, it comes out nice. The only time that I would cut first and then bathe is if a dog is like severely matted because you don't want to get the mats wet. But other than that, and now we're ready for our haircut. short blade and let's get it going. Which way are you gonna stand? This way. like I'm putting my hand on it like this because the shorter the blade um, it gets hot very fast you can oil it and spray it and stuff but it still gets hot so I have like a couple just laying around that I'll just take this one off and change it when it gets hot because I don't want to burn the dog
yuckiness right here. That's like a bunch of eye boogers. Like sometimes senior dogs will have a bunch of crust and boogers and stuff all stuck in here. That's one big clump. She's like, get off me. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna shave that out with a blade um, and then we can get started on her head. Okay, so I just took off that eye booger and see how it's like a little red and raw looking underneath? That happens a lot. Um, you really don't want these boogers to sit on their face because it just kind of never gets air and it gets all sore and nasty underneath. So definitely if you have an older dog, try the best you can to wipe the boogers away. Um, I know not most dogs like it, especially older dogs. They get fussy around their face. Like sometimes I touch her face and she's just pulling away and she just doesn't want to be bothered with it, um, which I get that, but you don't want that redness to happen around their eyes either. And sometimes these dogs, um, since they're older, they're hard of hearing or they they don't see very well, so sometimes when you'll touch them, they'll get a little startled and they'll jump a little bit. Just if you could be as gentle as you can. Just scissoring, cleaning it up a little bit. To, like if I'm working on this side with the scissor, I grab her tail and tuck it this way because a lot of the times you'll be working and they'll put the tail right where you look because they don't want you to touch them. Um, so I just do that as a safety. And as you saw when I was working on this foot, um, she was kind of like picking it up a lot because she just doesn't want me, she might be a little ticklish, she just doesn't want me touching her. She don't want to be bothered. She's like 14 years old. She's like, please, go away. <laughs> but when I need to scissor this foot and she's picking it up, I will pick up the opposite foot so she doesn't pick it up so I could do this um, and vice versa. I will probably have to pick up this foot while I'm working on this foot just to keep it down so I can cut around it. No dog wants their tail to be pulled on, the knots pulled on. And then once I brush it through, I will comb with it um, just to make sure I didn't miss any little knots or anything. You always want to comb after you have brushed. Just to, it'll snag on anything that's missed.
little Madison. Look at that little face. Aww. So this is her all finished. What a sweet little girl. Aww, a little baby. What a sweet baby. Yeah. <laughs> Madison. Say bye. Aww. All right, you guys, so if you like this, like I said, please let me know and um, I will get more up. I'm kind of excited to start doing a couple little vlogs of different dogs that I do and I see on a daily basis. Um, if you could please subscribe and yeah, I will catch you next time. Say bye. Bye.